consciousness. The extent of the sun consciousness is limited to the sun and the heavenly bodies most closely connected with it. It is only these and their events which the inhabitant of the sun can experience is, to use once again the simile employed above, man of today experiences his heartbeat. In this way the inhabitant of Saturn could also participate in the life of those heavenly bodies which did not belong to the immediate sphere of Saturn. When the Sun stage has 
pass through the appropriate subordinate cycles, it also enters a period of rest. From this the heavenly body of man awakes to its moon existence. Before ascending higher, again man passes through the Saturn and Sun stage in two smaller cycles. Then he enters his moon consciousness. One can more easily form an idea of the latter, for there is a certain similarity between this stage of consciousness and a sleep filled with dreams. It must be explicitly stated that here again one can only speak of a similarity, not of an identity. It is true that the moon consciousness is composed of images such as appear in dreams, but these images correspond to the objects and events around man in a way similar to the ideas of the present, clear consciousness of day. But everything in this correspondence is still dull, in fact, image-like. One can represent this state of affairs to oneself in approximately the following way. Assume that a moon being comes near an object, let us say near salt. Of course, at that time there was no salt in its present form, but after all, in order to be understood, one must remain in the area of images and similes. This moon being, the precursor of present-day man, does not perceive an object with spatial extension and a definite coloring and form outside itself. Instead, the approach to this object causes a certain image, similar to a green image, to arise as it were within this being.